Good morning, everyone. How are you? I don't know why lately I'm in this like sing-songy thing. <laughs> Where I open every stream by like doing a weird... Anyway, hi. Good morning. Happy birthday. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Um, oh man, oh gosh, Janelle's in the other room and I don't know that she knows the news. I'm not sure that she knows the news. I don't know that she can hear me. Can she hear me? Pokemon Snap? <laughs> she just went, oh my god, what? They, 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 they announced the new Pokemon Snap. <laughs> Toby's very excited apparently. Um <laughs> what if, what if there what if it wasn't real? What if what if I just made that up? <laughs> anyway, that's exciting. Um <laughs> We'll get we'll get her we'll get her uh take uh later when she after she takes uh, Toby up. Um did they release like screenshots or anything or uh it's just called pokemon snap 2 maybe oh yeah oh i see there's a there's a trailer maybe uh <clears throat> don't watch the trailer and uh and i'll watch it on the stream with you <laughs> well okay so that's coming at the end of this stream uh janelle's reaction video of uh, Pokemon Snap trailer. Um, anyway. Um. <laughs> wait, is it not an, an act? Is, wait, whatever. We'll find out what this thing actually is. Oh yeah, it's just, oh, I see what it's called. Oh, it's, oh, interesting. All right, I don't want to spoil it. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I don't want to spoil it for Janelle. Um, I am going to log on to the server. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it will look very easy, Rubix. I mean, it is a baby game. Um, uh, how's everybody doing? We uh, we caught up to 2016 last night and watched, finally watched uh, some Fleabag and finally watched some Killing Eve. Um, so we're feeling very current. Um, but how are you all doing? Um, I was going to maybe use the beginning of the stream, if not the entire stream, to, uh, finally go to Truman Town, which is, um, the, uh, <laughs> wacky, like, imported server trunk that, uh, Cyberpaul is maintaining. Um, and, uh, I guess I need to figure out, I guess I'll go to the subway, um, There's been a breach of height regulations in 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 Newtown or uh, in uh, Truman Town. You mean, Octasco? In Newtown. Uh oh. What's the? Uh... <laughs> I think I have a feeling uh, what might have uh, breached it, but um... are you talking about the GN Tower here? I mean, that seems really cool, actually. They, uh, whoever's making this finally uh, finished the top of it. It looks uh, looks pretty cool. Oh, it's taller than City Hall technically. Oh, okay. Well, I, you know, I yeah, that was my my general guideline is try to stay around the height of City Hall or or underneath. But I think this may is this actually taller than City Hall? Maybe with the um, uh, <laughs> they might have done a uh, a cheeky uh, a cheeky thing with the antenna. Um, which uh, is actually a thing that <laughs> real uh, architects, uh, city planners do, where they they uh, they like to have the tallest building, so they add you know a fifty foot antenna on top, and then uh, call it a day. Let's see let's see what the actual situation is here. Um, <clears throat> so this observation deck is 
<laughs> it might be literally at the same height as City Hall. This is a really cool feature. The glass floor is, is so smart. It's, it's just the CN Tower, which I've been to. You can go out on the glass floor like this and uh, look down and um, uh, get the same kind of... Oh, the Droopy made this. Okay. <clears throat> this is really cool. This is this is like a really smart idea too. Just just uh, plopping this thing right in the middle, and now you get a full 360 view of everything. Um, I nearly got vertigo looking down. Someone could not pay me enough money to step in a glass bowl like that. I I love the experience of doing stuff like that. I don't uh, I don't get the vertigo um, that some people do. It's not. I'm surprised that I don't. Uh, it feels like something that would terrify me, but it. Apparently my thing is needles. <laughs> God, Janelle and I watched the first, I don't know, two thirds of um, this documentary about um, doping in, uh, in um, I don't know, uh, like bike racing, um, bicycling. Um, God, what's the name of the documentary? I'm, trying, I'm racking my brain here. It starts with an I. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Was it? Icarus, Icarus, cycling. Thank you, Bill. God, my brain is failing. Um, and uh, it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think about this, but like I, I, uh, I have a real problem with needles. Um, just in the last couple of years, this has happened where I just, I can't. I mean, I've fainted a couple of times. It's bad. Um, and, uh, so the beginning of this movie is just people injecting themselves with needles, like, every shot, uh, and bleeding, and, uh, oh my god, it was a disaster. Um, <laughs> if you have a problem with needles, do not watch that, uh, documentary. Um, I'm just gonna go up here and see what the situation is, so... Okay, so this this is very. <laughs> I think this is actually very good. I think I think it's hilarious that they breached it. The droopy breached it by just like the the observation deck is literally the same height of the top of this spire, and then uh, and then the needle the needle goes beyond, which is which is very very good. Um, Rick says, Nick, when you get a shot, you have like a ritual to get through it. I have to click a pen like a madman. Um, so there is a trick that they teach people that I did employ on the last go round. Um, and uh, it's the same thing that they teach, like, I mean, it's not the exact same thing, but it's the same principle that they um, apply to teaching fighter pilots um, on how not to uh, pass out in um, high, high G-force environments. And so, uh, or situations, um, it, you, you do the, like the tense up. So you have to like tense your whole body um, because the reason that you faint, I'm sure you know this Rubik's, but the reason that you faint is not, um, it's not the loss of blood pressure. It's the, um, it's when your brush pressure comes back up afterwards. The rush of blood to the head is what actually causes you to faint. And so if you can avoid that massive fluctuation um, by like tensing your entire body for uh, the duration of the uh, event, um, it can help, and it did help. Uh, it helped me on the last, uh, the last one. <laughs> you faint because of a Coldplay album. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've. Uh, I fainted a couple of times uh, in the last few years, and it's not pleasant. I don't recommend it. Uh, so I'm going to go to Truman Town. Um, good job, Jerpy. That uh, that's a very good addition to uh, to Newtown. I'm uh, I'm very happy that uh, somebody built something um, in that spot. I wonder. Uh, let's let's go let's go over here and just actually take a look. Ooh, Rubik's eyes. <laughs> I would almost at this point step away if somebody was gonna surprise blood draw. Um, although maybe it's better to just get it over with. Look at all these tall buildings now. This is this is fantastic. Octoscos is over there too. 
Yeah, this is really, really good. Um, <laughs> is there any yeah, it's always raining lately when I start these streams. Don't really know why. Um, <clears throat> uh, on Sunday, I'm going to do a full walkthrough of the entire city. Um, and, uh, I'm going to like put that on YouTube or something and then put that on Twitter and just kind of commemorate, uh, all of the work that's been put in thus far. Um, I don't think it'll be the end of playing Minecraft for me, but it's, it's certainly going to be a moment to, uh, take a look at everything, um, all at once, which will be fun. Um, so I'm going to go to Truman Town for the first time. So this, what this is, is there's a Windows 10 server. Uh, that's being run and I don't I don't think many folks are playing on it uh, at this point, but um, What uh, Cyberfall is doing is actually taking uh, I guess just a certain chunk of uh, that server and then importing it into um, our server occasionally which uh, Makes it like a Truman Show kind of bubbled zone uh, and I've never been there. I haven't seen what's going on, so I'm going to go over there and check it out. I guess, yeah, more technically, it's the Bedrock server, which you can do cross-play on Switch and, you know, all the other platforms. Um, oh, it's finally uh, not raining. Wow, look at the GN Tower. <laughs> it is pretty tall. Uh... Only maybe slightly taller. Is it taller than the tree? I didn't even check. It's got to be taller than the tree. I think I think City Hall is taller than the tree, actually. This is just a perspective thing. Although maybe not. I can't remember. Anyway. City Hall probably shouldn't be the tallest building in the city, so it's fine. Um, it's a nice little skyline, though. Yeah, I was thinking about building something in Truman Town. I have a, I have a, an idea of something that uh, I would build there. Um, ooh, this is a nice little station. What's this? Is this? Uh... Oh, well, that's where we came from. What's this village? Somebody built a big wall around this, or is this generated? No, this can't be generated. This is like a big, uh... Eh, maybe it is generated. I don't know. I don't know how this game works. Um, who, uh, who made this little zone? Uh... Oh yeah, elevated rail. Elevate I love elevated rail. Let's just build, uh, let's rip out the subway and just do elevated rail everywhere. Subways are yesterday's news. Um, no, actually, I think Paul very specifically has been putting in a lot of elevated rail uh, leading in and out of uh, the subway zone. Um, all right, going to Truman Town. Scary pumpkin tree. <laughs> There's so much stuff out here that I've never seen. Ooh. Wait, what? What is this? <laughs> what? Is that the Molly Cube? <laughs> what is? Oh, this is Truman Town. Oh. Oh, am I going past Truman Town now? I think I'm, I think I might be going past Truman Town now. If that was Truman Town, or this is just the start of it, I guess. I'm leaving the Bedrock region. Oh, 
Oh, it's a bedrock, as in like the bedrocks are okay, that's funny. Um. <laughs> oh man, I hit the uh, zoom button the other day while I was moving up a scaffolding. Uh, I'll, you know what, I'll do that uh, in a moment. It's pretty intense. Oh, flowers. Is the end of the line? Whoa! <laughs> okay. Um, so what, uh, what all is there to see here? Um, I feel like maybe I missed the stuff that was being uh, built back there. Go back to the uh, cube, I think. Um, nope. Oh, it's just in and around that station. Okay. Um, ooh. Yeah, I want to build something in Truman Town. I, um, I got an idea for something yesterday. The only issue is it would require a decent amount of resources, which means I would have to actually play, uh... Well, you know, is there... I suppose there's nothing stopping us from building in Truman Town on the Java server, right? Like, that seems like cheating, though. Um, although, would it get overwritten? I guess it would get overwritten based on what, how the way he's copy-pasting. So I guess you'd have to build on Windows 10 to keep it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was doing some copy-pasting um, in single-player using World Edit the other day, and uh, so I can imagine how, uh, how it's working, but... Um, Yeah, I remember that too, Kira. I feel like there was like a big thing uh, around Truman Town. Oh, he put community chests in the in the um, bedrock zone. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I might do that after I finish my boondoggle, um, my latest boondoggle. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Let's go down here. And... So this is like, just a little NPC village, I guess. Um... I feel like Paul needs to be here to give me a give me some direction, or I could just maybe drop into creative and take a look. But I, I feel like uh, where was that cube? I guess that cube was way back in the other direction. Go to big tree, sure. I mean, to me, it doesn't look that big. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, my uh, reference for big tree has uh, changed um, since uh, Gobbleton. Um, oh. Oh. A little, uh, Little treehouse. <clears throat> this is cool. Oh, I like the top. The top is cool. The lanterns hanging from the leaves is really cool. Oh, and this this room is nice. You don't often see uh, people building out of the uh, raw wood these days um, because we're 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 in the big city life. But uh, this is really nice, actually. 
Um, that's true. Core did do that log cabin, but uh, yeah, we haven't. Uh, oh, look at this. This is cool. This is cool. Um, <clears throat> Oh, Rubik's, have you seen the golf course, by the way? <laughs> uh, oh, a portal. Ooh, spooky. Uh, whoa. Oh, Rubik's, I've got to I've got to take a spin past the golf course for you uh for 2 seconds here. Um uh Nuclear town, those aren't. Ooh, an observatory. That's a cool idea. Oh, all right. I'm just gonna, I have to now, you just ruined my, my, my Truman Town idea because now I have to actually pitch what I was going to do, Rubik's. Um, oh, I wonder if it's possible to do... So here, I was gonna, here's what I was gonna do with Truman Town. I was gonna literally just build the moon, uh, like the fake moon in Truman, in the Truman Show, with the control tower inside of it. Um, but wouldn't it be good if the observatory in the city or like on the outskirts of the city could then have a view of the Truman Town moon? Uh, the problem with the fake moon is I don't, you don't, oh man, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Observatory is a really good idea. Um, I am in Lava Town here. Uh, hopefully I can find my way back out of this. Is that an approaching Toby? Uh oh, I think I'm lost. Um... <laughs> Filled with Ed Harris. Yeah. Fortunately, you can't, um, without a mod, I think, you can't have, like, created NPCs, but uh, we could probably build, like, a straw man Ed Harris. Um, I can always die. Well, I can also always teleport. Uh, I got to do one thing real quick. Um, oops. Uh, nobody's on the server right now. Um, okay, I, I just have to quickly, this is such an indulgence, but I have to quickly show the uh, the golf course to, uh, to Rubik's and, and folks who haven't seen the golf course. Um, so Kevin, um, KE51N, uh, made this golf course the other day. Uh, and this is the entrance to the golf course. Um, and... The golf course is uh, Jurassic Park themed. Uh, there are dinosaurs. Uh, there's the Jeep. Um, you can play golf with uh, a snowball, and it actually <laughs> it actually kind of works. Um, it's it's extremely good. Um, the the end of the course. These are this is like a rib cage section. The end of the course, you throw the ball into the T Rex's mouth, and that's how you uh, close out your. Uh, your uh, nine holes. Um, it's extremely good. Also, Yoshi exists. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, Kevin did such a such a. Oh, you throw the flare in. That's right. You throw the flare in. I forgot about that, Kira. Yeah, yeah. You uh, you actually uh, you you do it. You throw a flare into the T Rex's mouth. Um, <laughs> uh, I missed. Um, anyway. Had to uh, had to take a had to take a detour there, so I actually kind of want to see where. So this is the Truman Town line that that uh, Paul built. I'm gonna go back over here. Um, I'm just gonna do this in creative because I want to kind of survey quickly what's happening. So this um, I think Paul built this through. Oh yeah, so this is like isn't there a rail over here? He's building through these mountains here um, somewhere. 
I guess it was where I just was. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this goes down and around, and then this, I think this is where it connects to the subway down there. But then, I think eventually it looks like he's going to go through in this direction, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, Mountain Hill's never panned out. Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm currently in the middle of a boondoggle, but I'm probably going to build a mountain house after that. Um, so this line is the Truman Town line that we just took. Um, <laughs> well, Rubik's, um, there is uh, some technology being developed for um, a secret private streaming thing um, that uh, Dr. Zing is experimenting with um, that might be of some use in that respect. Um, the uh, new town expansion, yeah, definitely did. The tunnel was the old direction before connecting to the subway. Oh, okay, Bill. So that just sort of ends there. Got it. All right. Well, I'm going to do, I'm going to look around uh, Truman Town and Creative just so that I can see the things um, in some amount of reasonable amount of time. Um, <laughs> this is very good. Oh, well, there's a little farm here. I didn't even, uh, didn't even notice. This treehouse is cool. Oh, you can go inside the cube? Oh, wait, what? Oh, I didn't even see this. Oh. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> oh, this is really cool. But I mean, I, I feel like... Um... I feel like Milo needs to be in the middle of this. <laughs> I feel like uh, there should be some kind of... Uh, Molony reward here. Um, that's really cool. This was all dirt yesterday. Um, what's this spire over here? Just a big, tall spire. I wonder if this is all that Truman Town is so far. You can see this is this is the interesting thing. If this is the border of Truman Town, which I don't, I wonder where the uh, is there a message that gets played when you cross into it? Um, is it like where's the where's the actual border? Oh, there is. Okay, I think I must have missed it. God, it's actually closer to town than I thought. Oh, entering Bedrock region? Okay, there's probably just an entrance. Oh, you're leaving? Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, it's quite big. So if I built my fake moon, like... Mm, Here-ish. <clears throat> and an observatory was on, like, the back of this here, it would definitely uh, have a view of it. Although maybe that's what my mountain home should be, is just a, a mountain observatory, like a, you know, like an observatory on, uh, on a peak in uh, Hawaii that's been protested. Uh, you need to build an observatory well away from the city, far away from nuclear cooling towers. Fair. Uh, well, I mean, like, still though, what about like this zone here? Ooh, well, I guess this has been built on. Um, I guess this has been built on. This is uh, 
is like kind of interesting. It's always wild to me that uh, these mountains get snow. It doesn't feel like it's that high up over here, but um, oh, okay, that's nice one. Okay. Um, well, I'll have to pick a nice place for an observatory if I'm going to build one. I don't know that I will be the person to do that, but it does feel like something you could kind of build in Minecraft, although you wouldn't want to do the traditional sort of 45 degree angle telescope. You'd probably want to do more of like an Arecibo dish or something um, because of the way that uh, Minecraft blocks work. Um, but I suppose with glass you could get you could get some nice effects. Um, <laughs> uh, this is the new Octosco view. Let's go down to the, uh, the Blade Runner zone. Actually, I'm going to turn the music on now. I really hope I can get my sign going. It's going to be a decent amount of uh, building. Oh, right, Octosco. Sorry, I've got to do that. Yeah, I'll add it to the roof as well. Um, this, I think this tower has only improved your view, Octosco. This is great. Did you take a peek, Octosco? It's a mess back there. Um, oh god, with the setting sun. I, uh... Let's see, what, what do we have going on down there? That's technically some empty space. I really am just, like... Hunting for new expansion zones now. Um, that's just a very good view. Actually, I wish I could get this view, but with, uh, God, Old Town looks so good from above. It's, uh, it's just the best. Excited for the nuclear power plant to be finished, too. <laughs> Imitation Vangelis. This is Vangelis. Isn't it? Oh, it is. Um, yeah, my, uh, my sign is going to be a disaster. This is, this is the start of it. <laughs> and it's not even, there's going to be so much mental gymnastics to pull off what I want to pull off. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Um, yeah, Rubik, so I'm, th this, this is going to be additional effects, but then I, I, I was thinking about maybe another digital board somewhere, uh, maybe something simpler, um, but, uh, I don't know where it would go. Um, oh, no, Circadian, that's just straight from the film. The game, I think, just used the, 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 the rip right from the film, so it's, it's not something that we get flagged. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I wonder where, <laughs> you know, 
I could throw like a really gaudy advertisement on the side of City Hall. That might be funny. Um, <laughs> it would sort of ruin City Hall though, in some ways. Um, but this is kind of the view. Oh, you know what would be good actually? There's some space right here for something. And um, maybe what this needs to be is a building that's like yay tall that has uh, some uh, redstone madness going on. Um, but, uh, or yeah, a blimp. We could do a blimp. Um, like a blimp hovering like over here. Um, Ooh, a junkyard. That would be cool. Water tower. Yeah, something, something, uh, something that would sustain another digital effect kind of in this zone would be good, probably. Because then you would have, um, from, from this perspective, you would have not just the casino, but like some other stuff over here that was giving, giving uh, Newtown some depth um, and some uh, glitz. Anyway, uh, future expansion problems. Um, Truman Town's really cool though. I do kind of want to build something there uh, eventually. Um, ooh, on top of the mountain range. Yeah, I do think, yeah, in this kind of general vicinity, maybe just another like signboard, uh, like billboard, like the uh, terracotta thing, but um, with some, uh, maybe with another um, kind of, wouldn't have to be animated, but something like something like the edge lighting here um, would work pretty well uh, over here. It could be an advertisement for the uh, racetrack. Um, these are going to be nice, uh, quaint mountain homes, and now I'm just like tear it up, make, put a bill, put an advertisement in there. Uh, you know, maybe. Um, Maybe it should be advertising a product from one of the uh, existing shops. Um, anyway, I don't know. Um, well, I think the big thing that's changed... Uh, oh, hey, it's Kevin. I think the big thing that's changed um, in the last few days is the, uh, is the tower here, which I saw. Um, can you put all the mechanisms that power the sign lighting underground? Uh, Rubik's, you can uh, technically, but you've got to do some some real uh, wacky stuff. So um, I'll show you the signboard, um, which Lockno helped me uh, with a bit. Um, so as you can see, these redstone lines are your circuitry, and um, you have to kind of they, they'll 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 drop down the side of blocks like this. So you, you, each circuit. To get it vertical, it takes up like two by three, you know, um, to get it uh, to get it that far down. Um, I mean, technically, you can do it in like a two by two, but it's two by three here because of the uh, repeaters that need to be in here for the uh, for the edge. But yeah, you can hide stuff underground. It's just you've got to have some space to uh, to do these vertical lines. If you need a lot of circuit lines, then it, it gets it gets to be a lot of uh, a lot of space. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not elegant, that's for sure. Oh, potato, I did that. I did that. I've got this, uh, I've got this coconut. Um, there it is. It's a coconut. You can also put it on your head. <laughs> for some reason. I guess because it's a player head. Um, <clears throat> uh, it might just be bad, yeah, Logno, it's true. Uh, Logno, I, I am not going to request help with what I am building here um, until I'm really screwed, but uh, it's a lot. <laughs> I want to try and do it on my own. I want to try and do this redstone project on my own. I'm, a, I'm taking a, an internet design and I'm going to adapt it, and I have a, I have a plan for how it's going to work, but I do not know if it will actually work. It's, it's, it's going to be a beast, though. Um, I'll just step through it for like two seconds. So basically, the way that this works is each of these... Um, 
there's no way to do a per like to treat each of these redstone lamps as a pixel. It's just not possible because of the way that uh, redstone powers in this game. But what you can do is make a board um, that uh, essentially treats these as a pixel. Uh, and so I am creating um, a per pixel board using this definition and uh, I'm going to make an animated design. Um, I have an idea of how I'm going to animate it. It's going to require seven different states. <laughs> and I have an idea of how to handle that. Um, I think it will work, but oh boy, it's going to be it's going to be a project. Um, I, I'm a little afraid that when it gets unloaded, like uh, like this, that uh, like the uh, blinking S, that it's that it's going to just fall apart and not work. Um, but you know what, Lockno, the S is working today, so maybe it's fine. Maybe something just got weird uh, that uh, messed it up the other day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, I think uh, I think it'll probably. It's extremely ambitious. I think it's going to work. It's going to require so much space. It may require going all the way back here and then probably up all the way to the top of this building here uh, in terms of the amount of space I'm going to need to handle the different state switching stuff. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to work at all, but uh, we'll see. Um, my general thought, Lockno, I'll just say it before I even attempt it so, uh, so you have an idea of what I'm doing. My general thought is that <clears throat> each pixel is going to have to, for all, for all of the different states, I'm going to have to have those pixels on the different state circuits, right? So I'm going to have different timers, and, and from those timers, the circuit's going to go out to a, like a bank, and then all the pixels that would be in that state would get wired to that bank. Um, and so each, each pixel, like for instance, if there's a pixel that is required to be in all of the states, that line would then be routed to all of those banks. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know, because I think it might end up just crisscrossing too much, and it could be a real mess. But um, the animation that I have in mind actually is a fairly organized <laughs> animation, so I think it'll work. Um, I think it'll work. Uh, I mean, there, there, there might also just be a simpler way of doing it, which is to just have everything kind of on a, on a timer uh, per level, but I, I think what I'm going to do might be neater. Um, <clears throat> uh, Rubik, so <clears throat> I'm making this in survival here, but I did knock up a bad prototype of it in creative just to make sure that it was going to kind of half work. Um, but I'm building this in survival, so it's taking a long time. Um, uh, Brian, I'm going to do the redstone for this. I mean, I'm, I am doing the redstone for this, and it's, uh, it's been a pain. <laughs> but it works. It sort of works. Um, it'll kind of work. Uh, thus far, <clears throat> I made it at some point. I, I spent an entire night making a billion lamps. Um, the redstone dust is easy to get. The repeaters I'm running out of. Uh, I'm gonna have to make some more. Um, but yeah, generally people have have uh, you know put up a lot of supplies for the community to use. So I've been making use of that. But I'm gonna have to do some uh, some more redstone machinery creation here. Um, Hard to know if something will trip you up until you play until you lay a bunch of it down. Yeah, Lockno. No, essentially, what my plan is here is like I'm gonna try to do the really complicated version, and if it doesn't work, it just won't be animated, <laughs> which is fine. Um, but I'm gonna try to do the complicated version first. Um, Minecraft seems pretty foreboding from the outside, since it looks like it's very tedious for a while until you have the resources. Um. Yeah, Rubix, that's true, although I will say, even though I haven't done a ton of this, uh, getting the resources is actually kind of... Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, something, some, something happened here. Oh, wait, no, I think, actually... Mm, I have to do some measurement. Um, 
I wish you the best. Uh, mining for resources in Minecraft is is kind of fun. Um, it's uh, you just sort of zone out, and um, it becomes a, it becomes kind of a, a very relaxing thing to do. But um, I only uh, I've only really done it like once a week, where I'll just like dig down and try and find a bunch of stuff, and then. Unless it's quartz, quartz is a pain. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm done with quartz. I don't do it anymore. Um, but yeah, no, people have donated a lot of stuff. I mean, like, look what uh, Sunlust did um, for this casino. Look at all the organization that's gone into this. Um, and so, you know, I definitely made use of these resources in building this, uh, you know, building this part. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, people are generally willing to help you out on the server, which is nice. Um, speaking of which, uh, if anybody has a big construction project and needs some some help, I'm always willing to uh, pitch in. But this is probably going to eat up a lot of my time. What happened to this row of um, or this column of uh, pixels? I don't know what the hell happened here. I'm going to fix that. Anyway. Um, Put coconut on palm tree. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, yeah, but I mean, like, in single-player Rubik's, if you just wanted to, like, make stuff, you would just play in creative, you know? Wait, I think some of these had coconuts on here. Like, isn't this... Oh, no, this is something else. <laughs> you know, in some ways, I think that looks more like a coconut. Whatever that is. <laughs> I think Sunlust did this. Um, well, I can tell you, um, there have been 48 people who played on this server, Rubik's. Their names are there. Not everybody is uh, constantly playing, but um, yeah, it's been a good... Uh, Good number of uh, books. But no, it's not, no. For what we've done, I mean, I think we've, at this point, we've exceeded the scale and ambition of, uh, of the previous Thumb servers. Uh, it'd be interesting to jump on uh, the, uh, the archive again and take a look, but I, I think uh, I'm quite proud of uh, <laughs> this, this wacky little hobby. Um, that we've uh, used as our uh, stress relieving device. God, look at this. Ugh. Old Town is just the best. I mean, New Town is becoming, fast becoming uh, its own flavor, uh, and it's really good. Every, everything that people um, have made here is just excellent. But the density of Old Town is unstoppable. I think. Um, in some ways, I, I messed up the Newtown streets because they are both like, it's like I, I think like Main Street here isn't big enough to feel like a Main Street, but it's also it also kind of spaces the buildings out to a degree that makes it feel less dense. I don't know. I kind of struck a weird middle ground with the with the street width. I feel like I messed it up, but. Um, Yeah, that's true, Octosco. I mean, yeah, the idea of, uh, of Old Town was always to have some modest goals so that people could easily knock stuff up and uh, just have little, little vignettes. I, I think, um, I mean, there are a couple of plots still that are open here, but I've got, I still have like 10 ideas for, for little, little uh, Old Town additions. So maybe, maybe instead of... Um, making a big thing here. Maybe this should just be Old Town Expansion, because I would love to build a few more little little things. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, when viewed from above, it's just fantastic. Um, I mean, I just want this to be, I, I just want it to keep going forever. Anyway. Um, yes, the Punished Gobbler. 
and uh, my noob house. I need to uh, plus up the noob house uh, uh, tour. This is just the this is, I've made the worst hole that anyone's ever made. There's no roof in this one. This is just. This. I need to add some like. I guess there's a sign, but I, I feel like this needs to be more obvious. Um, maybe it needs like a uh, like a catwalk or something, like a linear experience. It needs to be like a ride. Um, but uh, but also I kind of want to do more things like this. Um, see, it's kind of a ride. Uh, maybe uh, maybe maybe like a minecart. The thing about the minecarts is that if you placed it like going around and then had it timed out, I don't know, where you just have to hold W, but I feel like uh, I feel like what you really want is you want the Disneyland server thing where it's just fully at a knowable speed. Um, It needs a billboard. The noob house experience. <laughs> Our attractions would drive kids out of their minds. Um, I, uh, I think... Um, so here's another idea that I had uh, for like a massive project, um, which is... Uh, like a kind of like a big um, museum of antiquities or something. Uh, not in the town probably, but on the outskirts so that it could be big um, where, where people could kind of like contribute exhibits and stuff uh, like Old Town essentially. You know, you would get your like section of the museum and then you could add a thing. Um, but... Uh, I don't know, it would have to, I mean, God, I, I guess it, theoretically, theoretically, this could be the museum, but uh, it's not enough space. The thing is that they, in terms of the museum exhibits, the ideas I have would require a lot of space, like a lot. Um, so I don't know that this is the correct place to put it. Yeah, like an art museum, Sunless, basically. Um, I mean, I have a lot of like, I think people generally, like there's a category of uh, Minecraft. Oh God, the sunset. Uh, everything looks so good. Um, there's a category of like my building in Minecraft that's like, I want to make this thing, like I want to make a Gundam, or like I want to make this uh, thing from a video game or whatever in Minecraft. And I feel like um, the correct way to do that would be to do it within the um, context of like art museum uh, exhibitions. Um, you know, like you step into a room and suddenly you're in like, a scene from uh, from Far Cry 2. There's like the overturned Jeep, and then like you walk down the hall, and then there's like you know, uh, just like a little vignette of something, whatever. Like I feel like there's something there. I don't quite know how to tie it all together, like what the theme would be, but I feel like um, I feel like uh, it could be good. I've enjoyed seeing the lighthouse slowly rising in the distance over time. I think actually. Um, there hasn't been any work done on that because that's uh, Aqua's partner who was making this and they've been moving and stuff. So I, I but my thought with them, with the uh, lighthouse is that it definitely is possible, like the uh, sign here, to do um, like a rotating light. And so I feel like with the lighthouse eventually, we're going to have to get that rotating light in there, right? Um, I feel like that would look really cool in the distance from like back here. Um. <clears throat> ah. That's just so good. You know, another thing that could be done is on the roof of some of these buildings here. Whoa. A lot of redstone on the apartments. Um, you, you know, there could be water towers on the roofs of these buildings. There could be um, small signboards, uh, all kinds of stuff. I mean, we have the ability now to do 
um, to do banners with lettering like this. And frankly, just like lighting this up with just some lights that aren't even animated uh, works pretty well. Like the, um, the Jazz Club uh, lettering, the only thing about the lettering is it's not visible from very far away. The game uh, drops it after that distance. So you can see like right here, and then you go back a little bit and it's gone. So that's the only bummer about uh, using banners is that the banners drop out from the um, Hello D. But, uh... <clears throat> we need a hospital. Yeah, we probably do, considering that uh, people are dying left and right, always. Um... Anyway, uh... oh, I'm still so excited about this server. Every morning I'm like, is this the day where I... Uh log on and there's just not a lot to think about or do and, and then I'm like nope I'm gonna keep playing Minecraft a lot it's the best also this city is the best it really is um, pushing hard on a part of my brain that I haven't really indulged much uh, the part that would probably own like a massive train set in my basement if I had a basement ever um, <laughs> or like the part of me that would have a hundred Lego sets if I could afford a hundred Lego sets. Um, so uh, this is uh, this is definitely exercising all that for me. Um, exercising and exorcising. Ooh, yeah, the racetrack's lit up. Does the racetrack need? Core, do you think the racetrack itself, like the track, does does that need lighting? Do you think, um, like for night races? <laughs> oh, that's right. There are Minecraft Lego sets. I forgot about that. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, I do need to. <laughs> this is such a stupid thing, but I. I was going up scaffolding the other day and I hit the zoom button and it, it, it was like very intense. Uh, so let's see here. Can I get this in the exact spot that I need it to be in? Um, well, this is, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, <laughs> it is, it is a thing. It's not something that was ever meant to be able to be done <laughs> in this game, but it is, it's uh, welcome to my 60s uh, drug uh, LSD sequence. Um, <clears throat> anyway. God, I wonder if you could design an experience. Nah, that's, that's too crazy. Plus also, this is something that most people don't have the ability to do. Anyway, um, Minecraft. This is the most scattershot stream, but I'm, I just, uh, I love it still. Loop that and we have a start, <laughs> have that start the stream. Um, only if like my face could come out of, out of the end of it, you know, like only if you could just, uh, or like loop this and then somehow get this into the game and then, and then, uh, stand in front of it and then loop, you know. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of at the end of this um scaffolding is like a, a signboard that is playing the animated gif of you going up the scaffolding um can you see if the lower garden is full yeah i can care um yeah if you haven't contributed to the lore garden uh definitely do that it's uh it's good where is it where is it here it is. Um. Oh, there's one spot left. Looks like just the one. Oh, two. Okay, so there are two. There are two. Well, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> The mayor's always got to clean up all this graffiti. And, uh... 
Um. <laughs> w. Here, I'll write, a, I'll write a very short poem. Oh wait, this is a three panel. I don't have, I, I need more space than three. I guess they're all three? Oh no, this one's four. Oh uh, yeah. Anyway, um... No, it's fine. I think other, I, I've written two, I've contributed two entries to the Lore Garden, so I feel like uh, the mayor has taken up enough space. Oh, they were all three initially? Okay. Um, oh no. That was good play. Anyway, well, I think uh, that's probably it for this stream. Um, I'm going to keep making my board, my sign board, and um, it's going to take probably the rest of the week. Um, You know, it's funny. I just realized the um, the moon isn't any different with the uh, with the shader. <laughs> Wait, somebody added. Was that Kevin? Who added uh, sunglasses to Toby? That's pretty funny. I just noticed that. Fly out of here. I've got to, got to escape. Um, oh yeah, I do need to get Janelle to react to Pokemon Snap. I don't, I don't know where she is. Oh man, that's really funny. That's really good. <laughs> it's at a perfect height too. It looks like he's just slightly lowered his glasses. You know. <laughs> uh, there is a picture of Toby wearing Janelle's glasses, uh, and he kind of. Just looks like this. Um, actually, I need to uh, I need to grab that Pokemon Snap new trailer. Um, I found that the easiest way of playing video on uh, on the stream is to just download it and then plug it directly into OBS. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, good job, uh, Droopy, on the tower. Um, good job, uh, everybody, on the continued progress. Prom Machine's maze looks very good from above, too. Prom Machine did not want it to be viewed from above, uh, but as if I could look at this and like know exactly how to cheat it, <laughs> as if this would do anything for me. Oh yeah, Janelle wants to watch Pokemon Snap. Okay, here we're gonna do this. Um, let me just pull it up. Okay, let's turn off Toby Cam. Uh, I just downloaded it. Where did it go? Here it is. Okay, open link and folder. Uh, okay, we're gonna watch the Pokemon Snap trailer because Janelle has not seen it yet, and uh, well, I haven't either. Um, you never beat it, though. I did never beat it. Uh, here, let me. Um, ugh, this is gonna. This is gonna be kind of a hastily. Here, let's just let's just go. Whoa. Uh, oh shoot, we can't hear the audio. Oh, this is gonna be a bad way to do this. Hold on, I'm gonna have to just make another scene real quick. I, I don't have a I don't have a um a scene set up for this. Uh here, let's 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 do this. Let's do that and then I've never actually had to do this. Watch a video, except for the Far Cry thing, but I killed that already. Okay. Um that goes there, and this goes there, and then 
Oh yeah, sorry, it's probably really loud. Yeah, that that that's another reason why this is hard. Um, oh god, why is all of this stuff? You would think that OBS would have like a very simple way to uh, um, yeah, I know. Sorry, it was loud. Uh, yes, here he did claim that. What? He would have no problem. Oh, I I don't think I would have any problem playing beating Pokemon Snap. Zero instruction. Yes, he would. <laughs> it's impossible. You wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. No. Um. Oh God, this is I can't even I can't even figure out how to make this happen. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this. No, that's not the way that this works. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna do that. It's just I can't adjust the volume ahead of time, so it's just gonna be really loud for everybody all of a sudden. Um, oh, fuck. Okay. And then we need this to be monitored. Um, Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. We got it yeah, there's more than one island. <laughs> These are new Pokemon. Is this this isn't this is all like gameplay stuff, right? Somebody said this was pre-rendered. Maybe it's maybe it's all fake. I don't know. It seems it seems like it's not fake. Oh, there we go. Well, this isn't actually. Oh, maybe the maybe all of it was not actually. When is it coming out? Oh. Um. What was that thing at the end? Mm. Yeah, for emphasis, it looks totally new with multiple islands. Well, it doesn't look like it's the same kid, Rubix. It looks like you're a new little kid. Do you play as Todd Snap? Todd Snap? Who's Todd Snap? Well, Todd is the character you're playing in the original Pokemon Snap, not that you would know. <laughs> yeah, I, I did not pay attention to the Pokemon Snap lore. That is for sure. Um, there were Generation 8 Pokemon in there. Yeah, there's going to be... I'm not going to know any of them. Well, it's really exciting! <laughs> I'll stream Pokemon Snap on my own channel. Oh, okay. Without you, you're not allowed. <laughs> All right. Well, that was, uh, that was really exciting. Um, it looks good! Uh, I don't know. What, yeah, did did they actually say like generally when it's coming out? Probably next year, I would think, right? Or is it like this holiday? To be announced. They no no information, just that it exists. Janelle's not happy with that. Um. Janelle doesn't actually have a channel. <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, I'm going to call it. Um, that was uh, really. Uh, I don't think we could. I don't. I don't think your reaction video would do push a lot of views on YouTube, Janelle. Uh, you didn't scream enough. You didn't cry enough. Um, I give it. I give it uh, like a two out of ten. Um, <laughs> Wait, is the uh, is the Patreon thing not working? Hmm, it's not. Uh, it's not doing its thing. I wonder if um, if it got screwed up. Uh, hmm. Why? Circadian, can you handle that? Why are why do people come into the channel and just say like, can you say this thing? I don't understand. Uh, anyway, um, 
I don't know why the Patreon scroll is not working. Uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure that out. Um, I'll be back uh, later today with um, a couple backer requests. Uh, Ashen for Thanatos and um, One Step from Eden for Michael D. Um, so uh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a long one. I gotta I'm gonna have to get some work done here. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of backer requests to do over the next few days. So um, I will see you then. And uh, <laughs> please say dominoes. Um, I will uh, try to figure out why these uh, names aren't scrolling also in the meantime. Um, have a good rest of your day, everybody. Uh, good stream, good stuff in the server. I will see you in Minecraft. Probably not today, considering how much uh, other game stuff I have to do. Um, but, uh, maybe, maybe later tonight, who knows? Um, anyway, take care, have a good day and I will talk to you later. Uh, wash your hands. Goodbye.